everyone should know about CPS because it's literally a fundamental tool set to being human in the 21st century. I think that no matter where you work or what your stage in life is or what your role is, you're probably having to work with other people and having to solve problems. That's pretty much a universal part of the human experience, whether it's at work or with you in your own family, we're always working together and solving problems. And so um, to have a really defined and practical process and toolkit to deal with those really human experiences is so empowering because you never feel like, oh, my business is stuck, I have no idea how to move forward from this, or I don't know how to deal with the situation in my family. Like, there's always a way to find a solution. And the other, um, to be more specific than that, I think especially if you are a leader in an organization or leading a team in any way, this is a really essential toolkit. I myself am a business owner and I've used CPS process in a lot of my strategy development for my own company. It's tools that I introduced to my team and really embedded into our whole way of working. And it just changes the culture, especially in like any type of team environment um, in a really powerful way. And the other group of people that I would specifically talk to is educators and people working with young people because right now, the world is changing so quickly, we don't even know what jobs are gonna exist in 2040. So there's no, it's, it's a world where technical skills are almost less and less relevant or you're going to have to learn them quicker and quicker. So what are the most resilient skills? They're human skills, things that will never be automated by AI. And so if you um, really give this kind, like the CPS skill set, the creative thinking and problem solving toolkit to young people, that's what's really going to make them resilient and succeed in the job market of the future, um, not learning a particular technical skill set.